yo, 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 yo. What's up, guys? Back here in the old man cave. Man cave studio, or whatever you want to call this thing. See all this wood I got here? This is all plywood for all the walls. Yep. Don't mind the uh, fire starting material over yonder. But, uh,. I'm gonna redo this whole deal with all this wood. I'm gonna put all this wood up. Brag board, photos, whatever you guys kinda of have in mind if you'd like to be part of this, let me know. Oh yes, it is lovely outside. As most of you in the Midwest, you're probably feeling this nice cool weather and uh, enjoying it like myself and it is getting me antsy for this just ridiculous foul season that's coming up. Okay guys, I hope you guys are enjoying these laws and regulations videos that I'm putting out. I decided to do them, you know, four in a row throughout the last four days, and I hope you guys are enjoying them as much as I am putting them out. If you guys want to see more, also let me know down in the comments, like the video, and I will be sure to keep these up. Just like Teal, like the last video yesterday, this is about Dove and, and bag limits, possession limits of Dove, and uh, the Dove season's almost here, so I thought this would be just a good reminder to touch on this. Also, we will go over what kind of fines that you can catch if you are caught over your limit on Dove. So guys, yet again, I'm gonna have to read from my little uh, piece of paper here and there. But, so your daily bag limit of Doves uh, is 15. Your daily bag, you can shoot 15 Doves. Now, Kansas Wildlife and Parks states that there is no limit on Eurasians, Eurasians and ringed turtle doves. Now guys, I am not the best uh, at my at identifying my dove species in flight like that, so I just stick to 15 dove daily limit. Now on to possession limit. Like I stated in the past till video, possession limit is how many, you know, including your bag limit. So 15 if you shot that day, including what you have in the freezer and you have not consumed yet. So even breasted birds or however you clean them, birds that are still in your freezer froze that you have not. Uh, cooked yet in the eight. So that limit is 45 morning and white winged dove. So if you just breast them like I do, take the whole breast out, 45 you can have in your possession at any time. Guys, remember this. So now that we have covered limits and possession limits, uh, we're going to go over what type of fines you might catch if you get caught with being over your limit. Drop your comments down below. Your stories are so funny a lot of times. Honestly, they crack me up. Just state your where you're from, you know, what state. And you, my dumbass brother, my cousin, or whoever, this is what this is what they got caught with and this is what they were charged. I think it's just funny to uh, hear all your guys' random stories from all your different states. So drop them in the comments. So yet again, I got on some more forums on the old interweb and found some of uh, some people that's been caught and charged with being over their limit on Dove, and this is what I found. Now, guys, this is one of one of the most important things that I think maybe ever talked about because, as you guys know, as hunters and wing shooters, Dove can be easy to shoot a lot of times. They can be abundant, and you can get carried away and just start shooting Dove. Now. Consensus says across the nation, as far as states, is it is $250 charge per dove over your limit. So guys, why I stress this is you know how easy it is to just go out and shoot dove. Stick to your limits, guys. Get on your states, uh, what wildlife pages, look at the possession limits, see if it's different from mine in Kansas. It probably won't be much different, but you need to got you guys need to go on your own state's interweb freaking wildlife page and look at all the laws and regulations. Right, meow. This again is why I always stress keeping uh, identical you know counts on your birds while hunting. If you shoot it, you go grab it, you bring it back. You guys have to uh, keep your counts updated throughout the hunt so you are accurate on your bird counts all the time. But like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, just reminder videos. Some of them are just a reminder to us, to us avid hunters. Uh, and some are actually more vital because we have a lot of beginner waterfowl hunters on here. So if you're a beginner, don't feel left out. This video is for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, let me know and I will do more. And if you have an idea, say, hey Bobby, cover this or cover this. 
let me know, drop it in the comments, and I will cover that rule or regulation, law, whatever you wanna call it. Remember guys, states are different, so check your laws and regulations per state, guys. Go do it right now, don't wait, make sure you know them. And follow me on Instagram right here. If you have not, I'd greatly appreciate it. Oh yeah, so I've been diving into my analytics. We've been having a, a bunch of new viewership and shout out to Minnesota. Your state of Minnesota is the most viewed state on the channel. So I get most of my views from Minnesota. Thank you, Minnesota fam. But subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Y'all have a good one. Have a great Sunday. Peace, love, and happiness, y'all. Peace. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead. I put my.